Hey everyone, Achika here, and it's the weekend, so that means it's time for another DCUO base showcase here on the channel, and today I got another very special one lined up for you guys. So Paul Firebird reached out to me and said that they had a base that they wanted me to check out, and of course I said yes, so thank you so much, Paul, for reaching out, and thank you for your patience as well, I really appreciate it. But yeah, it sounds like we're in for quite a fiery time by both the name of the, the character and the base. It's called Hellish Phoenix, so without further ado, let's check out Paul Firebird's Hellish Phoenix. Ooh, excited. All right. I think they're like midway through my teleporter. But yeah, if you guys have a base you want me to check out, you can leave me uh, a comment in the YouTube section, or I have something over on the Base Crafters Discord that you can uh, message me there. It's a little form you can put there, or you can reach out to me on the forums too. My inbox is open, so let me know. There's a bit of a wait, but if you're patient. Oh, cool, another gothic theme. Halloween theme base. Hello there, kitty. How are you doing? Looks like you have quite a quite a nice layout for a black cat, huh? <laughs> Very spooky. We have the iconic pumpkins. This is so cool. Skull coin. Lots of fog. Oh my! It looks like the last visitor didn't uh, didn't take to the teleporter too well. <laughs> and we have some ghosties. Oh my gosh! We have. We have mice, we have a cat, we have a, a dog ghost. You're not really, you're not really doing, you, aren't you, okay, you know what, everybody needs a break, I get it. There's a lot of them too, I probably wouldn't mess with them either, that's, that's a lot of, that's a lot of rats, and they're pretty big too. That's fine, I understand. <laughs> not every cat has to catch the mouse. Oh, this is great, oh, look at the vampire corner. Oh, we have a raven up above. Lots of skulls, lots of pumpkins. Oh, this is great. How fun. An organ with skulls around it. Oh, let's uh let's get a werewolf howl, shall we? Oh. oh no, is the ghost not gonna appear? Usually the organ calls the ghost. No? Let's try again. I see you there. Hello. Oh, we didn't get the howl. That's really weird. Usually the, uh... The dog ghost... Like, uh, does a werewolf howl. I don't know why it didn't. Maybe there's another organ within the base that it's tethered to? Or maybe because it's here, it's already here, it doesn't need to be called. I'm not sure. Interesting. Aw. That's okay. We'll find the other one. Hopefully it'll teleport the puppers to us and we'll get a howl all right so we have some trick-or-treat buckets as well as a, a shrine to several statues we have medusa death and a gargoyle a very mad gargoyle <laughs> lots of torture devices as well as folks being tortured <laughs> which seems like a commentary on that <laughs> All right. Oh, oh my. It looks like uh, some some visitors didn't fare very well with the pendulum. All right, so let's be careful here. Oh. All right. Very good. <laughs> oh, this is all Dude, two spooky bases back to back. What are the odds? Oh my gosh. Oh, look at the throne. Yes. The carnivorous plants all around. Oh, this is lovely. Very nice. Ta-da. <laughs> I don't have my Joker jetpack on, so I can't sit on the throne quite, quite right. I think I'll just get absorbed into the seat with the hitbox, but that's alright. Oh, looks like we have a grave plot here. Oh my. Looks like, uh, they're trying- I can't tell if they're trying to reach out and get what's up top, or if, uh, they threw what's up there on the ceiling. They're like, nope, we don't want you guys. And just like stuck them up there like a like a spitball. <laughs> They're like, yeet. <laughs> Still very fun. Got some storage here as well as some corpses and uh, what probably was a corpse and ended up uh, decaying into quite a quite a mess. <laughs> Lots of windows. Oh, cool. Alright, let's head upstairs and take a look-see. What we got? Ooh! 
Oh, look at this. We have a ritual circle. <gasps> Very cool. Different, different items in different spots to summon different things. As well as uh, the fire. The book. So you probably throw some stuff in there. Got all your offerings there. Summon a creature. What you cage. Oh, man. Or maybe it's for reanimation. It might be for reanimation. Ooh. Also got some crimson here. Probably some, some blood offerings, one would assume. These guys are just hanging out. Like, yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> Whenever I see one of the skeleton tables like this, I just think of the two guys from the Muppets. <laughs> Like, you know, the, the hecklers? I don't know why. But it just seems like they're both just yelling at each other. He's just like, eh. This guy's like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I don't know why my brain goes to there. There's, like, no reference whatsoever. But Oh, more tomes, too. Oh, yeah, probably different spell books to go on the podium. Fun. And some uh, cage creatures for more rituals. Who also need to eat. <laughs> Alright, let's head downstairs and see what we got going on here. Ooh. More fog. Lots of items spread out everywhere. Lots of totems actually spread out everywhere. Ooh, we got walls are damned. Nice. Look at the Gemini eyes! Oh, that's so cool. All kinds of rocks. Looks like we have an armory here. No, no. Uh, I might have the. I don't know. It might be empty, but I also might have the glitch going on. I'm not 100% sure. A skull collection. Collection of skulls. This looks like the collector's area, like the trophy room. All kinds of different skulls here, different windows. We have the eyes of Gemini, of course. As well as some more torturous devices and arcane practices afoot. We got some eldritch creature breaking in from the other side. <laughs> and then it looks like we have a ritual for the finders card. Ooh. Very cool. And let me just make sure. I don't think we can. Yeah, no, I think I didn't want anything back there. And I think. I'm not mistaken, I think that's the end of the base. Let me just make sure I didn't miss anything up here. I did see the tree branches. Some stalactites. But I think, yeah, I think that's about it. So uh, I'll let these guys keep an eye on me while I do the outro. <laughs> Thank you so much, Paul Firebird, for reaching out. What a spooky and fun base. I know you probably had a lot of fun doing this one with all the Halloween-y aspects to it. I always love a good spooky base. So really fun item combinations and displaying. So thank you so much for letting me tour around and thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, no new announcements. Base Off is coming up. So stay tuned for that. Uh, if you need to get your entries in, you the, all the information is in my description down below and I will also have the video announcement linked here if you guys want a further explanation on that. Uh, it's an iconic theme base, uh, so go check that out. Uh, there's also another announcement in the works, so be on the lookout for that too. Uh, you can check out my community tab if you want more info on that for right now. Unless the announcement has come out already. But uh, I think it's supposed to be like another week or so, so just uh, be on the lookout for that. But yeah, I think that is about it. So again, thank you so much, Paul Firebird, for letting me tour your awesome base. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend, and I will catch you in the next one. Take care, everybody.